Hello, friends. Welcome to a tradition like no other. The Masters food tasting with the big foodies. Matt, Biggie, and BB Shea. We're going to talk a lot quieter today for the episode because... Uh, People are teeing off right behind us. That's right. We don't know who's teeing off. We're on off the uh, 19th green. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 19th at 9. Uh, so did you know that you can order the Master's meal kit? Is that what it's called? Yeah, something like that. I just called it the Master's box. Yeah. Taste of the Master's. There you go. Taste of the Master's. Of course that's what it's called. Yes. You could order it online. You get a lot of food for the for the money. I've seen this thing for years. Yeah. And I've always wanted to do this because, I mean, just a quick rundown. You get, well, first, if you don't know, the Masters is known yeah. for cheap food. Yes. It's, it's like that's traditionally. Yeah. For those of you that really don't know, it's a golf tournament. Yes. yes. That's <laughs> happening this week. Right now, actually. I'd yeah. say it's the golf tournament yeah. in my mind yeah. still. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they're known to have, like, when you get there, you're expecting these crazy prices. Mm-hmm. But no, it's like... Pimento cheese sandwich is still like two bucks. Yeah, you yeah. know, everything is fair priced. So everything's priced at the way that it was yeah. when they opened the club. Mm-hmm. And what I've always heard was like, hey, you know, it's actually good. Yeah. So when they started doing this, I was like, I want to do this. Yeah. I want I want to order this and see. Now this is not the champions feast. No, it's that not. they do no, no. We, we you know, that's that's a different this thing. This is stuff that they serve for the if people you, at patrons. the Masters. If you yeah, went patrons. to the Masters up to a concession stand, this is what you have to choose from. So typically this box is supposed to feed twelve, so that's, <laughs> that's about right. Right yeah. for us. That seems uh, <laughs> well, that math adds up. Yeah. So we have containers of egg salad, pimento cheese, pork barbecue. We also have potato chips, regular and barbecue, mm-hmm. chocolate chip cookies, mm-hmm. and Georgia pecan caramel popcorn. Mm-hmm. And I think the popcorn, Matt, you were saying that's... Yeah, so uh, we ordered this uh, last week, had it shipped to my house, it got there. I went ahead and unpacked it because I'm like, however it shipped, and we ordered it on a Thursday, I got it on a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. It was very quick, but I'm like, I'm not trying to leave pimento cheese and egg salad sitting in this no, thing. No, 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 no. So I went ahead and opened it, and I will say this, as the one who opened it, the presentation of the items in the box, mm-hmm. master's worth it. Yes. Well, and that's cool. what you get too, is besides just the food, you get, what, 25 of these? 25, 25 master's cups. branded cups. Which are sturdy cups. cups too. Yes. You get master's coasters. There's a, uh, not pictured with us is a uh, paper you can wrap the sandwiches mm-hmm. in. Uh, yeah, I do plan on at least wrapping one of my sandwiches in that. Yeah. You also get the menu. You get a little bit of like how to make Instructions. it. Instructions. We had, we took the barbecue out yeah. of its packaging because we had to heat it and up. And we have toothpick flags with the master's logo on it to put yeah. into the sandwiches that you're sitting on. I'll tell you. And it doesn't include, however, the buns or the bread for the sandwiches, but they say just straight up white bread. We went old school wonder. Wonder's perfect. Yeah. And uh, no drinks included either, so we're drinking lemonade. We are. Yeah. Uh, in true master's fashion. So, yeah. Um, and I will say, though, everything came very well packaged. They really did a good job keeping it cold. And everything, just the way you take it out, it's like, ooh, one surprise. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I like that. It was perfect. Yeah. It was perfect. I'm going to get you one of these wrapping papers, Matt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I want to wrap one of uh, the... Uh, we want to start... Whatever sandwich we do, I want to wrap it in the wrapper. I say we start with the barbecue because it's hot. Agreed. Yeah, those go on the bun, so the yeah. barbecue is on the bun. And they were very specific too, like no seated bun. Not seated. Yes, just, it just says straight up specifically. So in in this little kit, and it's all customized. This isn't like a general thing. It all says 2024 or the 88th yeah. Masters. Yeah. Like this is specific for this year. Um, so for the pulled pork barbecue sandwiches, begin with the freshest sandwich buns you can find. Just got They're served on seedless buns. Warm the pork barbecue to an internal of 165. Once heated, serve up a generous half cup portion between the buns and enjoy. We're not going to be measuring. No. But, but gonna we are going to be sampling. Sure. Are you guys, do you watch the Masters? I love it. I you know, when it comes to golf, I tend to watch the majors. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I tend to. Uh, the Masters is my there. my favorite, though. Same. Yep. Yep. And it's nice because, you know, it happens right after the NCAA tournament. Yes. yes. <laughs> so you still have that, like, sports hangover of, like, great, now what are we going to watch? And then you get the Masters, and it's just masterful. You know what I'm saying? You want some chips as well? Just gonna... Yeah. Now, the chips, we look, frankly, they're Uts. They're Uts. That's what it looks but like. But, yeah. Yeah, they have the Uts logo on the back. Regular and barbecue. That's some hefty barbecue right, right here. What's our, our total price on this out the door? BB Shea? Including shipping, it was $200. Okay. Which I know is sounds expensive, but when you're feeding 12 people, yeah, it's not a bad deal. 
and to me, the not just the food, but the stuff you get with it is yeah. Oh, there cool. you go. There you go. Wrap it up. It's, it's an experience. Up. So this is how you're gonna eat it on the court. So that's how I want to eat it here. Hey, what? That's pretty dang good. That's tasty. Mm. Considering. It was this shit. was shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is about as good as it gets. Of all the things we're going to try, this was the least I was excited because I didn't think it'd be that good. Yeah. That's got really good flavor. Very good, good flavor. smoky flavor mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. It reminds me, the texture of the pulled pork reminds me of the barbecue sandwiches you used to get during a school lunch. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why I like it. But it tastes so much better. Mm hmm Mmm. Let me try the barbecue chip here. Mmm. -hmm. It's a good crunch. I wonder how much Utz pays to be the chip or what they... Yeah, manufactured by Utz for the Masters. So I... Also, maybe it is a special... Hmm. I would call this a mesquite barbecue. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> That's good, bro. That pulled pork is really good. Yeah. I'm saving some room here for my others. Can I sample the original ship screws? Sure thing. So you know Tiger said he has one more in him. Do you believe him? Nope. I don't either. No. I'd love it. I might even cry if it happened. I love Tiger Woods. I don't care what he did. Sorry. Um, or who he did. <laughs> or who he did. I, <laughs> I love the Or who he did. I loved him from the time he came on. I've always been a Tiger Woods fan. If he had one more in him, but I just think the ankle, I just don't think he can do it. Yeah. He, he's a bit of a drama queen, I think. Because when he's hurting, he lets it be known. Mm -hmm. He will he will limp like crazy on whatever is ailing him at the moment. You know, I think he played like nine holes the other day with yeah. a young guy named Will Zalatoris. And Will was like, oh, he looked great, played great, but... That's like me. It's nine holes. No. I'm good for nine holes. No. Eight, actually, more accurate. Yeah. No, I think Tiger is the greatest of all time. I will give him that, but I think it's time for him to hang it up. Fine. Hard for some people to do that, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's got nothing left to prove. Well, the major, but he's yeah. past his prime. He's, he's not going to get there. Yeah. All right, one more bite, then I say we... Yeah. I'll say this about these chips. Solid crunch. Mm hmm I like a nuts. I was trying to think, actually, A, the last time I had an Uts, and B, do I remember them being that crunchy? And I don't mm. think so. All right, now, the next two are controversial. Mm. Very. Because I like both items. I like one item. And he likes one item. Well, and they're not the same item. Mm hmm You probably no. don't like either item, really. No, I really no. don't like either item. No. In full transparency, I'm not a big Minute Cheese fan. I'm not a big egg salad fan. But for the podcast, I'm going to suck it up and eat yeah. some. So. Well, buckle up, podcast listeners, because dropping soon will be an episode where you hear my feelings on egg salad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and my I, feelings on pimento cheese. So I remember going to the golf course, and that's all they had was pimento cheese or egg, egg salad sandwiches in the cooler. So you want to do a full had. sandwich here? Yeah. What that's do you want to do? You want to go ahead and get egg salad out of the way? I do. Now? Okay. Okay. Desperately. <laughs> I can't tell you how badly I want to get this out. <laughs> and listen, I'm just I'm throwing this out there. When we initially planned to do this episode, I said I'm not doing egg salad. Uh, you were very stern in that. And the uh, the amount of just Ooh, and that's air egg pressure egg salad too. Look at it. Now I'm gonna be transparent with you. I don't know if I've ever had egg salad. It just seems like something that I would dislike. It, I may come away liking it today. I don't know. It's, um, it's I'm potato not, salad without the potato. It's the same ingredients. Eggs are the worst ingredient in everything. You hate salad. eggs, yeah. Eggs, there you go. Pass it on. Now, I agreed for the pod, for you, that I would try this. But that's all I'm doing. I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> I'm not eating of this whole eggs, sandwich. Of the egg salads I've seen, this is about as, as eggy of an egg salad as you could get. I hope you're ready to give your commentary on it because... I, like, I make egg salad, so... Oh. 
It looks, it, honestly, it looks more scrambled egg. Mm. Oh. Oh, the hard boiled shell is all over the place. I don't. We'll put it somewhere else. I don't think you're gonna hate it. I think the consistency is not what you're gonna like. You're not gonna I, like. I it. don't like any egg. Mm-hmm. I love mayonnaise. Well, it's a mayonnaise sandwich. Well, it's a mayonnaise sandwich. It's a mayonnaise sandwich. It's um. To me, it has good flavor. It's okay. Like it's not. It's not that bad. Um. Of the egg salads I've had. It's one of the better ones. It's very simple, but it's clearly heavy mayo egg salad. Yeah. Um, the eggs themselves are barely noticeable, really. Um, it's got good flavor, though, to me. Heavy on the mayonnaise, for sure. It's kind of refreshing. Yeah, I mean, that's why I think they do. That It's a quick, easy sandwich out there. Same with the pimento cheese. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't enjoy it. No. Oh. Because the consistency. It's just knowing mentally, too, there's egg in it. Yeah, because there's not a lot of egg flavor. Mm-hmm. It is more just like a... It's mayonnaise. Very heavy mayonnaise. It's just like a... Sp- like, just you're eating like a spread sandwich. Yeah. Huh. I'll tell you, though. Oh, the aftermath. I like the flavor of it. I think it's pretty good. Not too bad. All right. Now, this is I do more. enough? That's, That's yeah. plenty. Now this, the pimento cheese, the is more what I hear people talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is one where people... Actually, I had a friend who went to Augusta in the morning and drove back pimento cheese sandwiches in the evening for us. <laughs> wow. He bought them and he brought them back in a cooler for us all at the bar. Man. So I've actually had an Augusta pimento cheese sandwich. Now, I'm not a fan of pimento cheese exclusively on a sandwich. To you me, like pimento, it on like a burger or to something? To me, pimento okay. cheese... Is I like it as a, a dip. Like take a oh you know what we should do? I'm gonna get another bag of chips. You wanna try it as and a I wanna I wanna dip a chip in okay. pimento cheese. Well, Matt bag. does that. We're gonna take a quick second to give a shout out to our friends at the Berry Patch. Yes. Berry Patch, longtime supporters of the Big Foodies. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Uh the, uh, well, the warmer months are on the way. The summer is right around the corner, which means people are going to be traveling to and from the beach. And when you do that, you're probably going to pass the berry patch. It's off 220 in Ellerby. You look off to the side of the road, there's going to be a huge strawberry. Uh, stop in. they got great ice cream, great people, great produce, a little bit of everything for you to stop in to and from the beach. Uh, once again, worldslargeststrawberry.com for more information. Shout out to the berry patch for supporting the big foodies. Thank you, berry patch. <clears throat> Um, this is a definitely a different pimento cheese. It's a thick, heavy. It's not. Oh, it's thick. It's not BB. I think you might like this. Okay. It's not pimento-y. The, it's not the typical pimento yeah, cheese you would think I, of. That, the pimento cheese that I know is very smooth. That's chunky. That's yeah. chunky. This this you chunky can see. Pimento. I looked. Of course, the first ingredient is sharp cheddar, but then I did see jack cheese in there too. Ooh. So they're throwing a little pepper jack in. Jack cheese. I know that's not very spreadable, is it? Uh uh-uh. uh. Wow. That's banging. That's gonna be a fight over that stuff. I'm so glad we saved this for last. <laughs> <laughs> you it's guys can know. Uh... It's always funny when the uh, episode's end and the camera goes off. Normally, it's pretty much cut and dry take, leave. Yeah. Occasionally. No. There's an item that brings a fight. And I think we have found that item for today. For today. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see BB's reaction. It's not like a pimento cheese I've had. It's not bad. That's really not disgusting. No. I've never had pimento cheese like this. There's some kind of spice or something in it. It's funny having it like this, too, because, again, I had a friend bring me one, and I don't remember it being that good. 
No. Oh yeah, there you go. I was really hoping it wouldn't be this firm. Yeah, that's not a dip style. You ain't dipping much of that. Normally you do like a Frito scoop or something. You'll need a Frito scoop for that. Yeah, it's not. It's not your typical pimento cheese. I'm just having to chip out of that you dip. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not. I, it's just not something that I would think to put on a sandwich. Yeah. Now I will say it's, it's a dip. That's that's yeah. It's, it's like an appetizer dip. Yeah. Normally, I'd say the look of it doesn't even look like the pimento cheese you think of. Yeah. Definitely a thicker. Well, I have to say, impressive, impressive with everything. Impressive, masters. All right, here's the Georgia pecan caramel popcorn. Now I know. You didn't get one cookie for all three of us to split. And I just, I was trying to save room on the table. Ah. There's plenty of cookies, dog. Relax. I, okay. Fat ah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I did notice, like, Matt and I were slowly savoring our barbecue sandwiches, and BB was already done. I'm like, <laughs> dude, it was good, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, I tried to just take the popcorn here. Oh, because you can't. This is the, the Georgia careful. pecan. Yeah. I'm going to get a pecan. So, pecan. again, I took a lot of the stuff out of the box at home so that I could, um, like, put the refrigerated stuff in the fridge and everything. And so my mother-in-law saw it. She's a big fan of all these flavors. And I told her she could have one. There were, like, ten bags. And she has looked up the company that manufactures it and has placed a bulk order for this stuff. Wow. This stuff is good. It works. Dang, dude. That's money. It's stellar caramel flavor. Caramel caramel. I switch off. It is. I'm with you. I switch off. I don't caramel, know why. Caramel caramel. It kind of depends. You're right. I say both sometimes. Yeah. I'm like, that's weird. Why do I do that? That's good. Dang, that's some solid stuff. All right. The fermented cheese is better as a dip. You like it better as a yeah. dip? Yeah. With the chip, something salty like that? Yeah, it plays better. Is it the softness of the white bread you don't like? Maybe it is, you know? Maybe. Basically what it is, you're just using a... Yeah. Using a piece of bread instead. Of course, the chip, I mean, I do think with this bread, it's like... The plain white bread... It's easy. As much as yeah. it could be used to describe the three of us... <laughs> it, it's it's not... There's, there's nothing to it. Yeah. I've never heard of this. Christie Cookies. Christie Cookie Company. Never heard of it. A lot of these places have been with me forever. Yeah. Probably local. All right. Was chocolate chip the only option that they this is gave? What they, that's, uh, must be. I know the menu at the Masters is not like when you're walking around, it's not big. I think it's pretty no, much yeah, as like this. Four yeah. or five. It's like in and out. Four or five things. Chocolate chunk, chocolate chip. That's good. A solid cookie. Mm -hmm. A lot of chocolate. A firm bite, but yeah. soft in the middle. This is like the ideal consistency for a cookie. Mm -hmm. You know what? All this food is good too, obviously. It's, it's walking food. Yeah, it's all this. It's stopping because you're walking to your hole, you're going to grab some lunch, you grab a sandwich, you grab a cookie, you grab some lemonade, you're good. You got nuts in there? There's almond pieces. Oh, shit. Um, Dang. Sorry, man. Good thing you booked. Oh, okay. Dang. Well, I just, I, just, I just glanced. This looks like we should be all right. It's funny. I don't get any almond. Well, I just look, I always look, because it'll always tell you, like, under the contains, instead mm -hmm. of looking at the individual ingredients, like, what might be in it. And it says almonds, and so I started reading through the actual ingredients, and in very, like, even toward the end, after sunflower oil, almonds. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So I'm wondering, like, are there tiny, itty-bitty pieces of almond? It must it? be, because I didn't... Maybe almond dust or something, I don't know. Almond butter? Maybe, I don't know. I've well. got a bite of this cheese, though. That's a nice little treat. 
I'm going to tell you, I'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah. If I ordered that and I had a group coming, I don't know about 12. Mm. But if I had six. Three eight, people eat that. Four people eat that. Four people eat that. Four people eat that, maybe. I mean, it is heavy stuff, though. Mm -hmm. I think, though, if I had six or eight people coming, I don't think you'd go wrong with this. Mm -hmm. It's fun. You get the extras, the extra cool stuff with it. Food's good. What was your favorite thing? I'll tell you. I expected, and maybe this is just because I, I expected the barbecue to be not good, terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And it surprised me how tasty it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, the pimento cheese is sharp. It's good. It gets you. I love the egg salad. I I'd probably put I'd put the pimento cheese for me slightly above the barbecue sandwich. And I still like the egg salad, but I put that down at third. Yeah. Um <clears throat> the barbecue exceeded expectations. That popcorn was really good. Yeah, this popcorn's money. And the pimento cheese is like nothing I've ever had. If you give me the option of what sandwich am I getting, probably pulled pork. Yeah. Just to try to fill me up a little bit. Yeah, I feel you. I'd, uh, I'd like to talk to somebody who's like a pimento cheese connoisseur oh. and find out if they would even consider that. Yeah, I mean... I guess because, I, I mean, all, it has pimentos in it. Well, yeah. But it is not traditional in any other way. I don't even eat pimento cheese, but that looks just so different than anything I've ever seen. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah the pulled pork was great. This popcorn is awesome. So... All right. All right. So. It's Friday. In honesty, yeah. We're, but we don't really, we're filming before, yeah. so we don't know who the leader is. Right now, yeah. So this is a. You, this is a total shot. A little into you yeah, pre. Pick your win. Who might have to withdraw because their wife might be in labor? Is it Scotty Shuffler? I don't know. I haven't heard this. Is this breaking news? I think Scotty, Sh that, is he? I mean, Scotty Scheffler has that's, vowed that if his wife goes into labor, he's, he's If that's withdrawn. true, that could be huge. <laughs> that's a, I gotta change some bets. With some odds boosts that might be hit. Yeah. Um, I'll take John Rom to repeat. Not a bad pick. Rory McElroy. Ooh. 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 I'm taking him this a year. Hush falls over the foodies. Brian Harmon. Oh! Brian Harmon. Got my money on him. I'm like, right. I trust this man. Yeah, yeah. He knows golf. Love Brian Harmon. Yeah. All right. All well, right. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying your day and enjoying watching the Masters. It should be coming on very soon. Mm -hmm. If not, it's already on. Uh, thank you to the Masters for offering this. This is really cool. Yeah. I wish more places did stuff like this. This yeah. is a cool experience. Maybe next year we'll do it from Augusta. Probably not. That'd Probably be dope. That's a great thought. Well, yeah. That'd be dope. People Either wait way. like 20 years to get tickets. <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> At least three get in. Well, that's it for us, the big foodies. Uh, you can check us out anywhere on social media, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. we got some TikToks floating around. Um, we're still giving away free stickers, I think. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, send us an email with your address, bigfoodiespod at gmail.com. It may get to you, it may not. We don't know at this point. All right. Well, yeah. It's less reliable than ordering this exactly. meal, that's for sure. Exactly. Well, thanks for tuning in with us. Uh, we'll check you next week. Uh, this is the Big Foodies, BB Shea, Biggie, and Matt. We'll talk to you later.